Now, listen to how crazy this sounds. The same God that spoke to Noah and his family and said, be fruitful and multiply, is the same God that Ham felt as if he had to... We have to understand something. During this time, certain things that would seem... Eh, we, mm -mm, to us was okay then and when i say that i'm talking about the paternal and maternal love relationships that's just how i'm gonna go i'm gonna put it because i don't want tiktok to ban me noah was 600 years old he was not able to conceive a child with his then wife however his youngest son even though being done out of spite his youngest son knew the commandment of God, the commandment that God had given him, given to Noah, was given to him and his brothers as well, Shem and Japheth. So he said, hey, I'm going to go ahead and be fruitful and multiply under the same exact commandment. Now, what's crazy about this entire situation for me is that, by, and I'm jumping here, Bael and Asherah, the sun god, the fertility goddess, is Nimrod and his own mother, whom he married and conceived children with. They conceived a child named Tammuz. Now, there is a ritual spoken of in the Bible where women are weeping for Tammuz. Now, it's not what you may think it is. That is actually a pagan ritual where women are prostituting and operating in different acts for Tammuz. I'm still doing my research on it. So crazy indeed. Rabbit hole. However, Nimrod is Cush's son. Cush is Ham's son. Ham is Noah's son. And it's crazy to me because all these people seem to operate under the same God in a sense. Like, don't quote me. Don't quote me. I'm just piecing things together here. 